Hello students. So let's try to solve one more problem from gate 2023. This is again one of the best problem asked in this exam. And this is from the special theory of relativity. So in this problem, it is given there is a rod of proper length L and which is two point P and Q and the distance between them is L with respect to the observer who is rest on with respect to rod. So this is proper length. And this rod is moving with the speed 3 by 5 C with respect to ground. So it is moving towards right. Okay. And uh, the observer in a ground will see that this length is 9 by 10 L. And uh, we have to calculate TQ minus TP. I can say this is what delta T is equal to what? And the observer on the ground see this point at TQ time and this point at TP time. So we have to calculate TQ minus TP. So we can easily use the Lorentz transformation and I am writing this Lorentz transformation in very simple way. So delta T is equal to delta T dash root under 1 minus V square upon C square plus V upon c square delta x dash root under 1 minus v square upon c square and uh, delta x dash is l but we don't know what is delta t dash so we have to calculate delta t dash so for that it is given one another information and that is delta x that means these two points with respect to ground and we are this delta t is with respect to ground so this is basically tq minus tp so we can use this thing so delta x is equal to delta x dash root under 1 minus v square c square plus v into delta t dash root under 1 minus v square upon c square so here we have to I will just calculate the whole term together from here. Delta x is given 9 upon 9 L upon 10. And we will put the value of V 3 by 5 C and delta x dash is equal to L. So that is 5 upon 4 L plus this V is equal to 3 upon 5 C. And we will just keep this thing delta T dash 1 minus v square upon c square together and in this problem we have to take do this calculation very smartly otherwise it will become very clumsy okay so always take care of this thing so when this will come here so we have 9 upon 10 l minus 5 upon 4 l into 5 upon 3 c is equal to delta t dash root under 1 minus v square upon c square. So here this value is equal to basically 40 and this is 36 minus 50 into 5 upon 3c and uh, this value is equal to minus 14 upon 40 into 5 upon 3c so this value is equal to 8 and uh, this the whole calculation is basically with the negative sign and <laughs> this is very interesting that this value is negative. So don't worry this is due to this relativistic effect due to this Lorentz transformation this can be possible okay. So this value is uh, so you can again calculate so this value is minus 7 upon 12 and L is also there. So L is also there 7 upon 12 L upon C is equal to delta T dash upon root under 1 minus V square upon C square. So this is value. So most of the student will just become nervous when he will get this thing as negative. So now we get this number. We know this value. We know the value of V. We can easily calculate delta T. So let's try to calculate this particular thing. So I will use this space because 
this has not any relevance now we know all the thing and uh, here this delta t is equal to this value is minus 7 upon 12 l upon c plus v is 3 upon 5 and uh, 3 by 5 c is there so 1 c is there and l is there 1 minus v square upon c square is uh, just 5 upon so this is l basically this is l this is 5 upon 4 so this 5 will be cancelled out and you have now good number so this delta t is equal to minus 7 upon 12 l by c plus 3 l by 4c and we can take l by c common so we have 12 minus 7 plus 9 and this value is equal to l upon c and the value is basically we can easily calculate 2 by 12 l upon c and that value is equal to 1 by 6 l upon c so this is value of tq minus tp and this value you can easily calculate so in this problem lorentz the concept of lorentz transformation is very important and how you can use it basically this is not a from the time dilation or the length contraction type of thing you can directly use there because that have some constraint so you can use directly the concept of lorentz transformation but in spite of you know the concept of Lorentz transformation, you have to be clear that which type of calculation you have to do. So why this is very nice trick that we can easily calculate this number. And once it will get negative, don't be panic. Why? Because if you will see the whole experiment from another frame, frame that observer will see the position part in a that D, TQ first and tp second so the position part can be changed from the another reference frame sorry this time part can be reversed from the another reference frame so it can be possible okay the negative time can be possible okay so you can easily calculate it try to do this problem again with your own concept and try to justify why this thing is negative now if you have any doubt or any type of uh, correction or any suggestion you can just uh, mail to us talk to us we can uh, just uh, remove that thing okay otherwise i think this is correct one okay thank you <clears throat>